If you're an investor or a stock trader who's taking part in cryptocurrency, then terms you may often come across are the bull market and the bear market. These terms are foretellings on whether the cryptocurrency industry is doing well in the market. Are we in a bull market right now, or is it a bear market? To find out more regarding the status of crypto, tune in until the end. This year alone, we've seen the most unstable market prices yet in the crypto industry. And according to a prediction made by Ned Davis Research, 2021 will see a global bull market. As described by The Motley Fool, a bull market is often accompanied by GDP growth and falling unemployment, and companies' profits will be on the rise. Considering how the market also suffered from the global health situation last year, it's fair enough to say that the economy is slowly bouncing back and is recovering from its losses in 2020. Even Invesco reported that we're in the early stages of a new economic cycle, wherein the GDP is slowly returning towards its pre-global health situation peak. Currently, we're at the 87th month of the expansion of the market cycle, according to GreenFinanceBush.com, which is also the fourth longest on the record so far. If we're basing it from 1900, the average economic expansion has lasted 46 months, which led to investors raising the inevitable question, is the bull market rally nearing its end? So many reports have been popping up on whether or not we're in a bull market, but do you really know what that means? Here are some things you need to know about the bull market. Kiplinger has published a report on what facts you should know about these, and as the saying goes, a bull market will climb a wall of worry, while a bear market will slide a slippery slope of hope. When you see stock prices increasing day by day, for sure you'd feel as though you did your part and are feeling confident that prices will continue to rise with the thought that you'll earn more in the long run. How could you not, after all, considering the market has been in a bull market for more than a decade? However, various reports are being shared online, and if you've recently started trading crypto, you might get confused since some analysts offer a different perspective on what's happening right now, but the S&P has indeed confirmed that we're on a bull market. The S&P, formerly known as the Standard & Poor's 500, is a market index that tracks the performance of 500 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. This market index is one of the most commonly followed equities by many and is computed by a free-float market capitalization weighted methodology. Based on their records, the S&P 500's longest bull market started in March of 2009 and ended abruptly in March of 2020. Are stocks officially in bull market mode? For starters, let's discuss how we determine if stocks are officially in bull market mode since there are many misconceptions regarding this. The media is quick to announce that we're going through a bull market, but that isn't exactly so, nor does it become a bull market when a major stock index, such as the Dow Jones Industrial Average, S&P 500, or NASDAQ Composite hits a new record high. It is deemed a bull market when a 20% rise in the S&P 500 from its previous low is seen. To put it bluntly, market trackers use this margin, a 20% gain of the low, to determine if the market is in bull mode and if it will end when the S&P falls 20% from its peak. Of course, that's one way of looking at things. Since chief investment strategist Stan Stovall of the investment research firm CFRA has a similar description though, there are certain conditions to be met. Stovall describes the bull market as a gain of at least 20% too, but the market also must go six months without falling beneath its previous low. That being said, it's difficult to pinpoint a definite description since we're in an entirely new cycle from the previous bull markets that crypto has seen in the past. So how often do bull markets happen? Excluding the current bull market that we're going through, market analysts and strategists have seen through the years that there are 28 recorded bull markets since 1928, as reported by Ned Davis Research. The company makes use of its own set of signals to determine if the market is bull or bear. And according to them, they've seen the same number of bull and bear markets within that time frame. During a bull market, stocks gain around 112% on average, which is against an average loss of 36% during a bear market. If you look at stocks over the years, it has clearly gone up, despite suffering a decline now and then, which is pretty much a given since stocks are volatile by nature. Secular bull market. What is it? There's also a secular market, which is an advance usually measured by the decade instead of by the year, though at times it's occasionally punctuated by shorter bear markets. The average gain for a secular bull market approaches around 500%, and it includes the run from 1982 through 2000 that saw prices for stocks in the S&P rise more than 1,200%. So how long do bull markets last? 
Naturally, investors and traders often ask this question. As much as they and everybody else wants this to last for a long time, sadly, it has its peaks and tends to end under four years. As reported by Kiplinger.com, on average, the bull market has lasted for 3.8 years since 1932, which is based on market research from Investec Research. As we stated earlier, the longest bull market history has ever seen was the one that recently lasted from 2009 until 2020. What's the main cause for a bull market's end? Several factors contribute to the death of a bull market, namely higher interest rates, and last but not least, rising inflation. Undoubtedly, timing also plays a crucial role since, like some things, a bull market may have run its course. Stock markets anticipate a recession that usually reaches its peak six to nine months in advance of the onset one. In addition to that, stocks sometimes anticipate recessions that never take place, which makes it trickier. There's also the fact that stocks tend to perform well in the early days of higher rates and rising inflation since they signal a strengthening economy after all. Even through all that, higher rates choke off growth eventually as inflation erodes the value of investment returns. What stocks excel in bull markets? One of the most common questions asked by many revolves around what stocks do best in bull markets since, of course, we all want our investment to come to fruition. However, there's no certain type that does well since it depends, especially now since we're on a new cycle. Every bull market had its share of different types of stock that led the race. However, in a young bull market, which is the time of early economic expansion, the cyclical sectors that are the most sensitive to interest rates and economic growth do the best. These interests range from financials to industrials to consumer discretionary that provide non-essential goods and services. Later on, stocks involving technology tend to lead midway through the cycle, aside from commodity-linked sectors, including energy and materials, which often outperform at the end stages of the economic cycle. Right now though, the bull market we're experiencing is a different kind, and based on the current studies and observation, tech stocks are excelling whereas financials are lagging. With this in mind, strategists and consultants always remind investors to diversify their portfolio in the case of one of their stocks declining in the hopes that all the other stocks are rising, which may also come into reversal since the market is volatile after all. What stocks are leading the current bull market? In continuation with what we've said earlier, the tech stocks are leading the current rally. Kiplinger has named oil and gas driller Apache, or APA, back in 2020, which has seen a market gain of 254% since the bear market bottom, which is followed by another oil services company, Halliburton, HAL, with a 214% increase. The three others who followed suit are the consumer discretionary stock L Brands, LB at plus 207%, industrial name Whirlpool, WH with 183%, and copper miner Freeport McMorin FCX at 167% from the materials sector. Can bull markets turn into unstable bubbles? Most definitely, yes. All the great bubble market analysts and researchers have studied what started as bull markets, dating back from the 1636 to 1637 Dutch tulip bulb mania to the nifty 50 blue chip stocks that collapsed in 1973 to the dot-com darlings that popped the turn of the century tech bubble. This is clear evidence that unexplainable euphoria as well as herd mentality can become the downfall of any market. For a more elaborate explanation of this event, we highly suggest you read the work of Charles P. Kindleberger titled Manias, Panics, and Crashes, A History of Financial Crises. It has an updated version done by economist Robert Z. Aliber. With that, we're wrapping up today's video about bull markets. Hopefully you've learned a lot in today's video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.